What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 6. We have completed the Super Street volume and we're moving on to volume 2, Sport Icon. So we're going to get a few more uh, cars in here, a little bit quicker cars. And I think this is the class that I've been looking forward to the most. Because um, it's a nice blend of everything, but it's a little bit quicker than the Super Street obviously. So, let's jump into volume 2 and check out what kind of whips we can get. Oh, first I gotta do a prize spin, just for finishing it. I wouldn't mind that F-type. F it's either money, or the F-type. F-type! Oh, I already have, what? Oh. I already have that car? I had no idea I had that car. But now it makes sense, because I got it with a, di because I got the digital version, and they sent it to me. Like, I got sent a digital version code or whatever. Yeah, that that's why. Makes sense. Whether it's a sports sedan for business people, an SUV that has way more power than you need for the school run, or a lightweight, purpose-built track day car, you'll find it here. Every car in this eclectic group represents the very best of its breed. They're the very top of the tree. Some of these are pumped-up versions of everyday cars, bursting with power and often bulging at the seams. From classic 60s muscle to more modern sports cars, each car here truly represents the best driving experiences of their era. And, with the exception of the more extreme track toys, they show how far you can push a daily driver without sacrificing the comfy seats, soundproofing and room for the whole family. Here, you'll take on the thrill and challenge of racing at night. Visibility is limited, and cooler temperatures affect how tires grip the track. Okay, so the first series is called Nightfall, the Nightfall series. I'm just going to go back real quick. Yeah, so the Nightfall series, uh, I don't know how many are in this showcase, but there's four races to be had. Um, and this first section, though... We're going to be looking at the cars, the cars of choice. So let's just take a peek at what we can get. These are the sort of machines that, in the old days, would have emerged from secret skunk works. Cars made by special departments and in-house tuners with motorsport expertise and a stash of weapons-grade parts. All of these machines push the limits of the models on which they're based, which means that for most companies, these are the fastest cars they make. Full stop. This is so. This is probably where I'm going to have some fun. So right away, I get a GT500. That was also a pre, uh, a bonus car, and an F-Type R Coupe. That's one I would have got. This is a good car, man. I'm. This is a good car. But I would like to see what we can buy. So we have uh, 2013 Audi RS4. So this is bigger than the, uh, this is the Avant version, of course. Uh, but then we have the BMW M4. Oh my God. Then we have the 2015 Ford Mustang GT. The Lexus RCF. Don't really like this car, to be honest with you. Alpha 8C Competizione. RS5. Don't really like the look of this car, to be honest. Uh, the 06 Audi RS4 with the big 4 point, what is it, 4.2 liter V8? Or is it, no, it's a 4.8 liter. Yeah. All right. The This I have for free because of the team. Or do I have to buy it? No, I do have to buy it. But yeah, this is the Team Forza M5. BMW M5 2012. See, this is my car. Exactly. This is what I have. An 08 BMW M3. I may have to buy it for that purpose. For that reason, I may have to buy this car. Anyway, Camaro Z28. Obviously, this would be tuned up. Uh, 2014 Chevy Super Sport. Actually, I'm not familiar with this. <laughs> Chrysler 300 Z SRT8. The Ch Challenger SRT Hellcat. This thing is one of the fastest. Oh, my God. This thing is brilliant. What, 700 and what, 12 brake horsepower or something like that? And I don't think they have the Charger. At, I don't think they have the Hellcat for the Charger. I think that was a pre-ordered DLC for like EB Games or something. So I don't think I have that. But anyway, uh, Ferrari California T. The Shelby GT350R. 350, 350 this is the new one. The new Shelby that's coming out. Looks amazing. Obviously the GT500. 
uh, another GT500, but this is from 2013. This is 2007 version. The 2011 HSF, which is, okay, the GTS, which basically looks like a Holden. To me, it looks like a Holden. Uh, 2012 Infinity IPLG Coupe. F-Type R Coupe. I already have that, obviously. Lexus IS350F. Lexus GS350F. Lexus ISF. Uh, Lotus Evora. Really good little car. See, this is the one I would have won. The C63 AMG. This is the Black Series, too. Uh, SLK55. The, the V8 in this thing is amazing. It sounds brutal. And it's so small, it just trolls you. You're just like, ah, it's not going to be much. Yeah, it's insane. And, of course, the Volvo S60 Polestar. The Polestar is their hot versions. Which are, this is actually a good car, too, the S60. All right, that's, uh, that's in the Ultimate Sports Machines. And I'll probably start off with that one because I, I think I want to buy my M3. Anyway, Executive Heavyweights, let's take a look. Underneath the tinted shades and smart suits, these Executive Heavyweights pack serious firepower. They might be large and luxurious, but they carry their weight well, thanks to magic suspension and electronic trickery that gets them around corners like cars weighing half as much. All this while boasting the sumptuous stuff a business person needs, including interiors made mostly of tree and cow. <laughs> All right, so I I already uh, I already won this car in a spin, the XFRS, which is a brilliant car. This is from 2015, so this is one of the newer ones. Uh, I'm just trying to think though. I think the one I really want is the Jaguar XJRS. Is the X J XJ is it the XF? I'm pretty sure it's the XJRS. Let's take a look. So the Bentley Continental GT speed. It's very important to say that. This thing is, these things weigh as much as a tugboat, pretty much. Uh, the BMW M6 Coupe. Uh, I've never really been a huge fan of the M6s, but so be it. Rolls-Royce Wraith. This is a huge car. Massive. The Tesla Model S electric car. That should be interesting to drive. I may have to try that. Anyway, Audi RS6 event. Uh, Team Forza RS7 from Audi. RS7 Sport back to regular. 09 RS6. 03 RS6. Uh, 2012 BMW M5. This is the twin turbocharged uh, V8. So it used to have a V10, but not anymore. The 03 BMW M5. The 2011 CTS V Coupe. Uh, Infinity Q50. Oh, Rogue. I don't know if I like that. The XFRS, already have it. Uh, the Maserati Ghibli S. This thing's pretty crazy. The Gran Turismo S. So sexy. I cannot even tell you how much I love this car. It's so gorgeous. And then there's the Quattroporte, which this is also a four-door version of this. It looks beautiful as well. Then there's the E63 AMG. This is one of the newer ones. All right. That, those are all nice-looking whips, too. Sport utility. So these are going to be things that are completely pointless. Oversized SUVs with a butt-ton of power. They might have the ability to drive through pig's muck, but these SUVs are made by people who usually do sports cars, so they're more suited to apexes than agriculture. Like carving a sledgehammer into a machete, you wouldn't mess with the results. Though they do make these power-crazed juggernauts rather entertaining to drive on a track, especially if you leave your braking to the last minute. All right. So this is the car that I was already given. The F the the F one fifty Raptor, the Shelby Raptor though. So this thing is pretty powerful. What else we have in here though? The Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT, uh, Range Rover Supercharged from twenty from twenty fourteen. So one of the newer ones. The less Cheshireous one. They changed the front end, so not as Cheshire. <laughs> the uh, Benz G sixty five AMG, twenty thirteen Ram Runner. The X5M, of course, from BMW. The Escalade ESV. That is... I'm never going to buy that, to be honest. Uh, the regular F-150 Raptor. No, oh, this is the new one. Oh, shit. The 2017. Oh, God. They stopped making them for... What was it? Well, what was this? Where was it? You know, we'll get down to it. But... See, yeah. They stopped making them for a while. Look at this. The 2013. Oh, wow. I knew they'd bring it back. I was surprised when they got rid of it. Um... And then, of course, the 2011 Ford SVT Raptor. It's going to be the cheapest. 
It's the oldest. But they all do a little bit. This is going to be mass. I don't know. I don't know if I'll even bother touching base on these cars. They're going to be really, really slow. But we'll see. Modern Sport Legends. If the 80s was a revolutionary time for the car world, the 90s and noughties were just as good. New materials and technologies meant manufacturers could build cars with stuff we'd only ever seen in motorsport. Flappy paddle gearboxes, twin scroll turbochargers, lightweight composites. They shook up the racing world too and set the standard for sports cars as we know them today. These cars are future classics, but you can buy them now while they're still shiny. All right. So 92, Alfa Romeo 155. God, I love Alphas, man. They're so beautiful. Camaro IROCZ. I never really liked this Camaro, to be honest. Uh, the Ford Sierra Cosworth. Brilliant. Oh, my God. I'd love to drive one of these. Rally King. The Benz 190E 2.516 Evolution 2. It's a mouthful, but it's quite the car, too. Audi S4 from 2004. Uh, RS4 Avant. RS2 event, uh, 2005 BMW M3. I love the look of this too. Like this is the E46, the e E90 or E36 M3, the M5 from 95, 850 CSI. This was a, this was actually not a very good. No, I'm thinking of something else. This was a good car. The E not or E30 M3. One of the best M3s ever made, in my opinion. The 88 M5, also one of the best M5s. Look at this one, the M635 CSI. Oh my god. <laughs> then the BMW M1, not a very good car, to be honest. Uh, the Buick Regal GNX, it's quite the monster. O2 Camaro 35th Anniversary ugh, Super Sport. Corvette Z06, Corvette ZR1, Viper G GTS ACR. Insane amounts of power in this V10. Uh, Ferrari 575 Marinello. F3 355 Berlinetta. 512 TR. A lot of Ferraris in here. GTO. That's a good car. That, that's a 388 GTO, I think. Anyway. Uh, SVT Cobra. Cobra R. Two different Cobra Rs from various years. This one's actually more expensive, but I'd probably front for this one. Anyway. See, this is what my Ford, my Mustang looked like. This is, but this is the Cobra. This one's actually good. <laughs> the Team Forza NSXR, brilliant car. Regular NSXR. And then old NSXR. Lamborghini Jalpa. Lamborghini Countach LP5000. The Lancia 037 Stradale, really good car as well. Lotus Esprit V8. Maserati Ghibli Cup from 97, so the old Ghibli. Mitsubishi GTO. It's a 3000 GTO, I thought. Skyline GTR, the 2002. So this is the 34 Skyline. Brilliant car. God, it's, it's like one of the best, actually. I'd like to have one of these. Uh, the Skyline GTR from 97, so this is the 33, I believe. That's not what they call I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I feel dizzy for some reason. <laughs> no, it is a 33. All right. The Fair Lady Z, Twin Turbo. Skyline GTR. This is the 32. Uh, Trans Am. Trans Am. Super RS from 1998. I still want one of these. I really, really do. There's a lot of cars in this class. Vauxhall Lotus Carlton. Don't really care for that. The Volvo 850R. Awesome. Honestly, that is a good looking car. I gotta say, even though it's like a, you know, it's uh it's you know, it's it's a wagon or an estate car, whatever you want to call it. It's a good looking car. Alright, next up we track track toys. They have license plates and you can drive them on the road, but make no mistake, these are hardcore grade A track day weapons, and anything to make them road legal is of trivial concern. More importantly, they weigh about the same as a paper bag and have excellent power to weight figures. This means they accelerate like superbikes, and it's hard to imagine them losing to anything costing under six figures. Anyway, I won the BAC Mono. 
uh, in, a, in a roll. So these things are going to be quick as hell. And they're going to be mad expensive. Got to remember that. The Alpha 4C, this is new. But let's see the price. Actually, that one's not that bad. I'm surprised. Ooh, 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 ooh. The K2M Superlight R500. Insanely fast car. I'd like to drive that. Lotus Exegas, also a very light car. The BAC Mono. Uh, the Dunkervort D8. Very funny looking thing. The KDM Crossbow. Lotus 211. And the Lotus Elise Series 1 Sport 190. So this is an older car, but these are super, super light cars. Lots of fun and expensive. So histor historic American muscles. So these are going to be the, like the 60s and 70s it muscle began cars. with the bootleggers who tuned their cars to try and outrun the cops. Their recipe was simple. They inserted a big engine in a small production car and put power above all else. Their creations were the ancestors of the American auto industry and later inspired the pony cars we fell in love with. All right, and I had already won a 71 Plymouth Cuda. But what else we got in here? We have an, a, a 66 Chevy Nova Super Sport. A Dodge Dart Super Stock. I actually saw one of these in the road the, or on, on, in the streets the other day. A Mustang Mach 1. Very weird looking car. Uh, pa Firebird Trans Am. So yeah, Pontiac Firebird, Pontiac Trans Am. They were both the same thing. Uh, the AMC Javelin, the uh, Rebel, the Machine, AMC Rebel, Buick GSX, Corvette ZR1, Camaro Z28, El Camino Supersport, Chevelle Supersport, Nova Supersport, Camaro Supersport, all from the late, late 60s, Corvette Stingray, Chevelle Supersport, again, different, obviously a different engine, Impala Supersport, Corvette from 1960, God, it's a beautiful car. Dodge Coronet Super B, the Challenger RT, Charger Daytona. I think that is one of the prettiest cars that to ever come out of America, in my opinion. Charger RT, XB Ford XB Falcon, Ford B Mustang Boss, uh, GT Coupe Ford Mustang, uh, Mercury Cougar, Oldsmobile Hertz 442, the Plymouth Cuda, Plymouth GTX, Pontiac Firebird. Uh, yeah, and the Pontiac GTO Judge. Now, these cars are powerful, but I don't know. They're very heavy, and they're very sluggish. So, we have officially showcased all the cars that you can get. So, we're going to officially go in and pick our, our car to, to rep represent in the races, the first nighttime races. So, stay tuned. We'll be back for that.